I've been playing around with it a little bit, but it's basically still out of the legs, right? Control T, this is what I have, or Dark Servant Papyrus Casablanca. And the ISO, I've created it uh, with the ISO of July. And you, then you keep updating, right? Rolling. Now, I just made a video about, let's go there. Voila. Yeah, yeah, we agree. The last video I made was about Arch Linux GUI. No, not you. Oh my God. Sorry, guys. My apologies. And it keeps on going, it seems. So anyway, so this um, ISO of Arch Linux GUI, right? Arch Linux GUI, graphical user interface. And he was using a XML kernel. Now I looked it up on my, my search here in YouTube with not explained you. I explained something about XML kernel, but I was on any Arch Linux distro. But the thing is, installing a Linux kernel on our article Linux is actually super, super easy. All right, so let's go ahead and that's the topic of the video. How do I get to change this, the kernel? Now, sudo pacman minus s, I always want to be complete. There are a few Linux kernels ready from our Linux. The Linux kernel, that's the one we have, the Linux hardened kernel. That's the one you could have, Linux LTS, long-term support, and the Linux Zen. So there are already four kernels you have to choose from. That's one thing. But we want XAML, right? Um, maybe I should go there because I Googled it myself. XAML. And then you read. Go read. General purpose Linux distribution with custom settings and new features, and then it comes becomes very, very technical. Patches and all that, right? I was just wanting to install it. I wanted to have the feeling, is this improving my system, yes or no? Because that's why we switch around Linux kernels. In Pacman, you have this enable chaotix repo. Click, stop. Control T, update. But change this, we have some extra lines inside our pacman.conf, and that's the chaotic EOR. We can now get all the packages from the chaotic EOR. What do you mean, Eric? All the packages. Go use pacman, repositories, chaotic EOR. All of these can be installed. I'm still scrolling, I'm still scrolling, I'm still scrolling, I'm still scrolling. It tries to read, I'm still scrolling, I'm still scrolling. I mean, just count them if you want. Well, I guess it will be hundreds if not thousands of packages are there now available. I just want to let Xen mod, okay. Xen mod it is. There you go, we have the the end box, I thought it was something to do with Android, if I'm not mistaken. And we have here two kinds of, four kinds of things, but basically it's just two, is the LTS and the end box. Now, to be sure, we need to go a little bit more, right? XAMOD unbox, is that, what's that? XAMOD unbox, is that what I think it is? Uh -huh. They have here a reference to it. Binder enabled and bot. What is this and box standing for? That's my question, right? And box doesn't seem to have anything to do with Android at all. There's no easy, quick explanation. What is this? Ultimate guide to install and box, and that is then Android, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Probably I'm mistaking again. That's from Garuda. So Kelta War has a link with uh, Garuda, if you didn't know that. And here were some things and box. 
I have read it somewhere. Voila, running Android in a container. Android image running in Nbox. So it has something to do with uh, some references to it. Ash, mem, and binder doesn't give me a clue anyway. So not up my alley, but how easy it is to install these things. It's just a button away and click, or of course, you know me, sudo pacman minus s linux xam mod, and then you type tap, twice tap. These are the choices, it's the same choices. That's a graphical user interface from Pamac from Manjaro, and this is just a terminal. But the just a terminal is often in more interesting because, well, <laughs> it's the basics, right? The package manager manages our packages through a GUI or without GUI. So if you want to install it, you just click LTS, for example, and off it goes, installing. 380 megabytes. I do have to cut the video, of course, in two pieces because we need to reboot to be able to see it. And the Linux kernel will stay a while on my SSD until I reformat it again, of course. But it's entirely up to you to decide is that thing working better on your hardware? There are thousands of machines out there, so if not more test it out all right i'm not gonna wait for this to to finish um oh no it's finished <laughs> so let's uh, save the recording here and record back when we're rebooted <laughs> 